So I'm at Target um, at their Starbucks. And wherever I ask, the Starbucks inside the Targets are all a third comp. It's a third party company. So the Starbucks and Target is not owned by Starbucks. Trust me, I worked at an actual Starbucks. Try that. <laughs> um, but I'm here just chilling, trying to enjoy my day. Really? I'm trying to enjoy some time. Oh, with it being Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to everybody. To everybody out there. Because we all truly deserve it. Yeah. So, with that being said, um, I am sitting here waiting on my grandparents to get here. I'll take them about 30 minutes to get themselves together and here. So, I decided to go ahead and grab me something to eat. Grab some coffee because I need it. Because I made coffee this morning, but I had to get out the door because stuff at home. And it's not because I'm running for my problems. It's just. No, I'm not running for my problems. It's just. I don't want to be at home when my boyfriend's ex gets to our house. If that makes sense. Because she and I do not get along. I'm telling the truth, guys. It's sad that the mom, that my stepchildren's mom and my, well, their bio mom and I do not get along. It's really sad. So, and I wish she and I could have a better relationship. I really do. Because those kids are my main priority and I want to try to make them happy. But... I just feel like she and I will never get along. So with that being said, at least with that being said, um, it's just that I don't, you know, I just feel like things could be better. I said I think I wish things could be better between her and I, so that. My babies, my girls, my stepchildren can have a better life. I really do. But things happen for a reason. They really do. So, you know. So that's the whole ordeal. I'm waiting on my grandparents to get here. They said that it'll take about 30-ish minutes. Before they get here. So that, I, so that I can spend time with um, them. Because like I said, it's Father's Day today. And... Yes, I know I should be spending it with my boyfriend, but I'm letting my boyfriend have time with the kids. Because I feel like that's right. Um, but the reason why I'm getting my grandparents here, I know it's sad, but I kind of need some groceries. Yeah. I want to need help until I actually get paid better. And then, um, I have plans to move my oldest back in with my youngest. 
like for my oldest and youngest to share a room again because apparently they like to talk to each other and I can't tell them to not close their doors. Like I'm trying to give, let them have their own little freedom of either having their door open or having it closed. And with the door open, they tend to want to talk to each other. And they're facing literally their doors. So I don't know how to fix that except for letting them share a room again. Because I think that's what they miss the most is sharing a room. I think. Now, I meant to ask them this last night before they went to bed. But I was trying to let them have their sense of independency. Like, my oldest have her, have her own room. And then my youngest have her own room. And make sure that the oldest had a bunk bed with her. So that when she meet, meets friends from school, she can have that top bunk for the for friends to come over and then I was gonna then I was gonna at least let my oldest have a loft type bed situation to where she had one bed on top like a, like a bunk bed but more like a loft like made into a loft um, so that when she had friends so that she could have friends over which is the whole reason why we're trying to do what we're trying to do, my boyfriend and I. But that's not working So because they both want to still talk to each other. And my boyfriend mentioned that it might be the reason why they're trying to... The reason why they're trying to talk to each other now is because they miss actually talking to each other. Um... Which is where me trying to, um, which is why I'm thinking to go ahead and move them back in the same room together. And then turn around and make sure that they have their own sides of the room. So... I talked to my boyfriend about it. Um, at first, he was like, yeah, we'll sit here and do it when my brother comes into town. Because he might move in with us. But I'm sitting here like, but I need, I want to do it now. So that I have my own office. So that I can talk to you guys while I'm home without being bothered. Without y'all looking at a, at a dirty room. Without, you know, there's a lot... A reasons why I want to be able to um, get this going like I said so that I can talk to y'all without having to so that I can have more peace and quiet other than just a dirty room a TV on and everything uh, or out like this because I have nothing else to do Because this is more of like what I do in a day while I'm out. Not while, not what I do in a day while I'm home. When I could be vlogging at home and vlogging here. And then when I get back up into the swing of things to do more. Like, yes, the Red Tails is primarily what I want so primarily what I want the Red Tails to be is Disney based yeah it's more Disney based than vlogging based but here in Memphis I can't do a lot of Disney content why? because we don't have anything Disney related except what's in the stores except for what's you know what Memphis wants to do for Disney not like, and I don't make enough money to sit here and go out and do Disney, pretty much Disney vacations all the time. I can't do that. I don't have, I don't have enough of you view viewers and enough of 
of you following to do that yet. Which is what I'm trying to encourage y'all to do. So, speaking of which, let me put that, insert that now. If you haven't subscribed, if you haven't liked, if you haven't commented, please do that now. Go below and do that now. Because your, because your likes, your follows, or your subscribing, and you commenting is telling YouTube to follow me. To look at me. Because the more this happens, the more I'll be able to give you the content that I want to give you. Which is Disney. Now it's just vlogging. Because what I might do is that I might separate the Red Tails um, up. So, so pretty much separate the Red Tails up. Do the Red Tails as Disney. And then do the Red Tails vlogs. Where it'll be vlogging of what we do and what I do, what I do with family, stuff like that, so I can separate everything. So, yeah. Wow, I've been talking for 10 minutes. Just 10 straight minutes to y'all. Right now. There's a lot. There's a lot that I want to talk to y'all about. And it's just days like this that I have to get. What time is it? Alright, so let's. Yeah, so it is. 11.47, so I have about another 20 minutes before my grandparents get here. And I'm trying to talk until about 11.50, 11.55. So I'm trying to free up my phone for when my grandparents call. And ask me where I am. I gotta check on Squishmallows while I'm here too. Why? Because I'm trying to get more Squishmallows so that I can turn my oldest room into an office. So I can decorate with Squishmallows and everything that I want for y'all to see. So, yeah, um, it's a, that's pretty much the idea. And the reason why I'm out. My boyfriend knows why I'm out and why I don't want to be at home right now. But, oh my gosh. Okay, so guys, it's been, I don't know, Friday, Saturday, Friday, Sunday. It's been about three days. I can't be doing this anymore. This whole trying to go without one earpiece. I can't. Honestly, I can't. It's hard. Um, I'm hoping to hear from America's Best sometime this week. Hopefully by Wednesday or Friday so I can come during my lunch hour because I'm working a full 10 hours Tuesday through Friday with work. Um, so I'm pretty much covering my shift and somebody else's, somebody else's shift. So, also, to let y'all know, I requested the 28th off, which is a Tuesday, and what I want to do is that I'm going to, um, uh, so what I'm planning on doing with y'all is that take y'all with us to, go, if I can get that day off, we're going to go to the zoo, so the us, my fam, so us, so you, my viewers and me, um, my boyfriend and my two kids, we all go to the zoo because it's supposed to be for free here in Tennessee on Tuesdays from two to close. And I work from three thirty to close at work originally, so that's why I'm trying to see if I can request that day off. And if I can get that day off, that'd be great. Cause because I want to try to, because honestly, I want to try to spend some time with my kids and my boyfriend before I have to go, before I start school in July. And that'll be another thing I want to have to bring y'all on, because it's, 
this is going to be interesting. Because I haven't done a summer class since... Yeah. I haven't done a summer class since... Summer 2020? Yeah. No, no, no. Not summer 2020. Summer 2019. When I came, before I, right after I came back from Disney, working with Disney. Yeah. So it's been 19, 20, 21. It's been two, three years since I've done an actual summer class. But I mean, I have to take it for chemistry. Why? Because, well, I have, chemistry. I have to take chemistry. It's not, like it doesn't go towards my degree because I've already taken it before and they count it as a grade um, of when I took it. But I have to retake it because if I go to a university for a degree, they're going to have to tell me I have to retake it, and it's cheaper to do it at a community college, so I'm doing it at the one that I'm at now. My boyfriend and I have been talking about um, me doing the college program again, and that might happen hopefully fall of 2020, so that, or fall of 2020, Jesus, a lot, I've been talking about a lot. Um, but it, the whole idea is to go fall of 2023, save up the money to do so, and then go from there. Um, I am hoping I can get more auditions out for this um, reading app or reading website because if I get... Because the more auditions I do, the more I want to get paid, or not paid, but the more I want to be able to get paid for doing projects. And the projects are pretty much being a narrator and talking like I'm doing with y'all right now, um, and, but reading books. And so that's going to help a lot um, because they said it'll be about 200 to $400 a, an hour, depending on what it is, what the project of the book is. And you actually work with Amazon. So, I'm planning on doing that while I'm doing this and working, working, until I can get literally off my feet um, with this. Because I want to talk to y'all. I want to sit here and do this. And I can't do that when I'm not making money off of it yet. So, yeah. Okay. What time is it? All right, so it's 11.55, or 11.55, it's 11.53. I've been talking to y'all for a good 17 minutes, which is fine, because like, I'm probably going to record me walking around inside when my, grand when my grandparents get here, so that I can just show y'all pretty much what we have here at my target or at my target, at the target that I like going to. Um, I call it my target because it's literally the only one closer to me. Um, and now mind you, I live all the way out in, like right there at the corner of Jack, of um, where, well DoorDash calls it like three different areas of East Memphis, Raleigh, and um, North Memphis. I'm like right there in that little corner area, so it's like hard to figure out where I am. Yes, there's a Starbucks close to me in Raleigh, but there's not a Target close to me. So I had to go all the way out to the one I'm at now. So, yeah. Okay, I want to get off, off here because I got five minutes before they get here and I need to finish my coffee. Alright everybody, so I have a grocery haul. Um, let me go ahead and get in here in this little circle. So I have freezer stuff. I have some fridge stuff. I have pantry. Well, I have cans. Then I have my meats, potatoes, um, some more pantry items. Um, but 
uh, this is going to be my grocery haul for the day, and I will let you know how much I spent all together, um, after I get everything put up. So, let's get to it. Alright, so first is my freezer stuff, so I can go ahead and get it in the freezer without it melting or spoil. Um, I got a big thing of fish sticks. It's three pounds. Um, everything I got today is from Superlu. Um... Like I said, everything I've gotten today is from Super Low. Um, if not, I have a stepper since closer to me, which is owned by Super Low. And then the next thing on the freezer stuff, so it goes in the freezer, are these Tyson Fun Nuggets. They're in dino shape, so we call so I call them dino nuggies. Um, but thanks to my children who like Baby Yoda, they always sing this thing that goes like Baby Yoda and Chicky Nuggies. So that now I call my chicken nuggets Chicky Nuggies. Now mind you, I got two kids and it's summertime, so this is pretty much like a restock slash I needed groceries. Um, next up are ah, my glasses. Y'all know about my glasses already. I already told y'all today. Um, next are two packages of the Mary B's biscuits. Y'all can see them. Mary, Mary B biscuits, Southern made. There's 12 in each of these. I try to get a bigger one with 24 instead of having to get two 12 packs. But, um, obviously, as you can tell, it's breakfast food. Again, because of my children, I didn't get toaster strudels. I didn't get anything like that because your girl also needs to get out from toaster strudels and um, things like that. Here, let me grab my second bag and then just ah. Next up is oh close. Next up is Big Thing of Waffles. Um, it is the best choice home style waffles. It's about a pound, and a pound comes with 24 uh waffles. Like I said, my children, and I'm ha most of this is for me so I can start losing weight, but also some of it is for my children so they don't have to struggle with me. Go ahead and take them out of the box and put them right into this freezer. And that is it on my freezer stuff. Um, well, most of the rest of my freezer stuff might be all meats, which is what I want to show you here in a few. Of course, I want to be breaking down boxes and throwing them away. All the way over there. Okay, next up is my fridge things. Um, I am going to go with the milk so that it can go in the fridge. I have two of the best choice vitamin D whole milk. I get two um, because I am a family of four. And this family of four drinks a lot of milk. Ain't that right, baby? Yeah, we drink a lot of milk. Um, and especially since I like drinking milk, after, like, before I go to bed. 
that helps me. And then I, and then my eight year old likes to drink milk. My five year old doesn't drink milk unless if it ha unless if it's cereal. And the same thing goes for my for my boyfriend. <coughs> Excuse me. The same thing goes with my boyfriend. He does the same thing. He does not drink milk unless it's cereal time. Now, the next thing that's up is egg roll wraps. And you're probably going to ask me, Red, why did you get egg roll wraps? You don't know how to do that. I know I don't know how to do it. Mind your own damn business. I got it because... Because meal prep. Because who knows? There might be something. There's a couple of recipes I found for egg rolls that I want to make. Next up is two of these lemon looking jar lemon juices. It's from Pompeii. Um, it's 100% lemon juice, natural strength, made in the USA, and Pompeii was established in 1978, so I got two of them. I like lemon juice in, in my water, and I've had to go without for so long, because I didn't want to get lemon juice for a while. And now that goes, now they go in the... Go in the fridge. Oh. Next up is going to be the Pillsbury Crescent in the Sweet Hawaiian uh, flavor. There's eight rolls. So eight times eight, well, eight plus eight, 16. So I got two of them. And I'm going to put these in with the egg roll wrap so that they can stay cool. Uh, next up will be carrots. Now, I got the Bolt House for Farms Baby Cut Carrots. Um, this is about two pounds. So, with two of them, I got four pounds of carrots um, because my kids like vegetables and I'm trying to eat vegetables again. Um, next up is ugh, an eggplant. I got an eggplant because um, I, I miss eating them. And no, no, get your nasty minds out of my comments. Get your nasty ass minds out of my damn comments. I got an eggplant so I can eat. Eat healthy. But yeah, I got that because, of course, again, I have a family of four. We eat. So I had to get things that are. Pretty much a big amount of stuff so that I can have stuff. Um, next is Romaine Lettuce. This is Romaine Lettuce by Dole. Um, just simply classified, you know, you know, this is, this is lettuce. No, I'm gonna put them in the fridge for right now. I don't have any like actual I'm not I'm not like everybody else who has these organizational videos while restocking the fridge. I don't I really don't. Not right now actually. Um next up is celery celery hole oh, sir sure. Sure. I got celery hearts because I have a lot of peanut butter and I like peanut butter and celery. So, there's that. Now, since I personally don't
don't have any fruits, which is kind of, well, yes I do. The only fruit I have is a banana, but bananas don't belong in the fridge. They belong out here. Anyways. Um. I don't have any fruit. Except for that. I'm just kind of sad. I normally get fruit and I normally eat it. Um, but, or if not, I eat vegetables more. Um. Next thing on the list is the stoplight peppers. So, of course, you know the stoplight red, yellow, green. And then the peppers because we eat a lot of peppers. Um, that's how I started eating a little bit healthier was, um, a little bit more healthier was through, um, was through, what is it, stir fries. Alright, so next up on our agenda for the fridge, creamer. Now, I already have a big cafe, or the, ne the Nestle Cafe, or, or Coffee Mate, not Cafe, Coffee Mate. Um, I have a big thing of the hazelnut one, but I got two little ones of different flavors so that we have a different flavor of coffee. Um, one is Golden Grams. You all know Golden Grams from Coffee Mate, and then the next one is International Delight, and it's their flavor, um, Vanilla Cannoli Cream Latte. Yeah, those, that's all for my fridge items right now. Um, next are my canned goods. Give me a minute. Like I said, next one I can goods. So, I have one of the Ragu original style or old world style mushroom sauce um, spaghetti sauce. And then I have two cream, two cream of mushroom best choice soups. Um, the reason why is because I found out you can make Beef stroganoff with this. Alright, and then the last of my ragu. So, the, la the last of my sauce is the old world, old world style traditional sauces. Okay, um, yeah, we try to get a lot of flavor in different things, um, and of course, I got it. potatoes, because we kind of get potatoes a lot too, and try to make them a little bit healthy. I got the Russell, ah, Russell at Potatoes, my best choice. Now, this one's five pounds, so... Yeah, it's it's enough to feed my family for work because I mean I have a ten pound, but I like to make sure I'm stocked up on potatoes so in case if we need them and we're not running out. Okay. Um. Next, we're gonna go into our meats, which I'm gonna need to get them in the freezer. Baby. Um. Can you get these in the get the meats in the freezer after I'm done with them? Okay, I'm not I'm not done with them yet. I I gotta start on them first. Whoa. Oh, okay. I gotta start on them first I before. You were gonna put things the way that you were doing it. I thought that you were gonna. Never mind, Nick. I'll do it. Jesus Christ. So I guess I'm putting everything up without the shirt, without splitting them up, guys. So first up on the meats is the con is the Williams Country Sausage and Mild. Um, this is ah, I can find it because this used to be my, like my best. It's two pounds. Um, it's from a Tennessee family. So it's, I trust it <laughs> for any, like, sausage, I trust it. Um, next up, I have two 
Smithfield pork loins, one in sweet teriyaki, sweet teriyaki, and the other one in applewood smoked bacon. So there's two pork loins right there. So there's two like two different meals. This sausage in down here with the waffles because that's more of like a so more of a breakfast thing than it is a it's more of a breakfast thing than it is a meal well it's a meal but you know a lunch breakfast dinner thing um well lunch or dinner thing next up is some smoked sausage by the little butcher shop I have one in the pineapple flavor, which is like, I know y'all probably can't see it. Um, it's more of like a yellow border. And then the other one is the apple smoked, which is a red border. If you ever have one and you're super low, or if you have super low at all. Or if you can find it wherever you live. It's the, uh, again, it's the Little Butcher Shop Smoked Sausage. We actually like smoke. Okay, that's just my eye mask. We like smoked sausage at our house. Um, next is this Super Low Wonder Roast Rotisserie Chicken. Um, now this one has the price on it. Uh, some of the stuff didn't have a price on it when I got it, but this one's seven ninety nine. So a rotisserie chicken's about. I don't know. It's I got it for meal for meal prepping. Again, guys, I'm trying to learn how to meal prep and have other things on hand because I'll be starting. Like I told y'all earlier, I'll be working about ten hours this week every day. So that's like forty hours in one week. Um. Next up is this. Is the Sanderson Farms high in protein chicken breast? This is the split chicken with ribs. Um, now this cost me about seven dollars and seventeen cents. Um, this is about the cheapest I could go with as many as I could, which is only three. But I mean, three is big enough for me to cut up and do like chicken tenders. One day. Yeah. Uh, okay, and yes, guys, my freezer my freezer is open, but I always freeze. I can talk. I always freeze my um. I always freeze my meats because I never know when I'm going to be prepping. And then next is fresh pork chops, boneless. There's four, so that's big. That's enough for us for another meal. This one I paid about six dollars and ten cents. Um, again, I was trying to go as cheap as possible with all my meats and everything. Now this is a mess if I absolutely had to, but I also got another thing of ground, uh, of ground beef. Even though I have one that I haven't touched yet from my last haul, but I like to make sure I have some on hand just in case. Again, um, this is the family pack, 73 lean, 27 fat. Um, it was $14.80. Um, because it was three seventy one a pound, but like I said, I needed some extra ground beef, so in case, because this time I couldn't remember if we still had our ground beef from my Walmart. So again, I didn't know if we had any more meat from our Walmart grocery shopping thing that I had to do by myself. 
Um, next up is some round turkey. It's not. It's the ninth. 99% fat free ground turkey by Honeysuckle White. Um, this this varies depending on the store you go to. Um, I normally get the 99% fat free if I don't if they don't have it. And like I said, this depends on the store. If they do not have the 99% fat free, always go to 8020 or 7327. Because the best you can do. And honestly, it's the healthiest you can do. Um, the, the last of my meats for the freezer is this stuffed chicken. Um, with ricotta cheese and spinach. Woo! Damn it. Damn it. Um, this one was uh 543 and then this one was 517. They're both the same thing but they are um sold by the pound so the 517 was 69 cents per pound and then the five dollars and forty three cents is sixty eight dollars or not sixty eight dollars well sixty eight cents per pound um the five dollars and seventeen cents was seven pounds and forty nine ounces, and the six forty three was six was seven dollars or seven dollars. Jesus, if I can talk today to get this going. Um, and the five dollars and forty three cents, guys, was seven point nine nine pounds. So that's why they were both different. Even though I'll be, even though I knew I was paying for the same thing, it just depended on the pound and how much per pound uh, was going to get me. All right, so that's all my freezer stuff. Oh well, all my freezers, meats, and fridge, and then canned stuff I have. Also, I had to get spices and stuff. So and other cabinet tree stuff. So this is the always save um, breadcrumbs plain um, because I got this because I thought my boyfriend and I could do like fried chicken one night with those chicken breasts. Um, with it being plain, we can add our own seasonings to it. Um, always save and best choice always been, and this is 15 ounces, just to let y'all know, this is a 15 ounce container. Um, but always save and best choice are the two that I normally go to unless if I actually have to on a, um, on a whole, like I always go with the cheapest brand unless if I have to go to a different brand, um, in groceries. Next is the always save old fashioned oats. Um, uh, this one is 42 ounces or two pounds. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm trying to eat more, I'm trying to eat healthier, which is why I'm trying to do this. Um, and normally all my dry stuff, if you can't tell in, not, oof, this one, because that's all my cups, but the other one down here, down here, that's open, there, right there, this, well, ah, this stuff, that's all my spices, that's where I keep all my spices, and then the ones, the cabinet's in the middle between... Ah, I can't do this. Between these two? There we go. Are all stuff for, like, bread and oats and things. But my oats are probably going to go <coughs> in my um, shelving, which is next to my... Uh, here. Let me show you. So that brown tall thing, that's my... Uh, that is my shelving, which is where I'm probably going to put my oats. Um, breadcrumbs are probably going to go in here too so that I see them. So I don't just sit here and be like, I don't have anything. I know I bought this. Where did I put it? I tend to forget. Um, next are my seasonings. 
And I should have gotten this while I was at the store, but I didn't think about it at all with sugar. So then I'll be making some stuff with sugar. Um, I got the Baden Sazon Tropical in the green. We like this one a lot. Um, it's ideal for meat, poultry, and fish. I got honey because I know I have tea here, hot tea I can use. And then I can also use this for the oatmeal. Um, I had to get some more pink Himalayan salt. And this one's from Badia too. Um, and I like using pink Himalayan salt because of the fact that it's a little bit healthier than using iodine salt or any other salt. If you don't know what iodine salt is, that's your regular table salt, guys. Literally your regular regular table salt. Um, and then next is the Badia Tropical in the orange top. Now again, this is for yellow rice stews and soups. It doesn't matter what you use it for as long as it tastes good. I'm, I got it because we like the Badia brand. Here, let me get this stuff. Here, I gotta put this with the, with my teas. I'm gonna put this up. And then, I also got two things of tea bags. Um, so I can start making sweet tea again, because my fa because my family and I like sweet tea and I got two hundred of the tag I got two of the well I say two hundred I got two of the hundred always save tea bags. They're black tea and they're they can be served either hot or cold and they're tagless. So I don't have to worry about the damn or the damn the uh tags on the damn on the on the tea bags, guys. Save you some time. Save you some time if you want to make tea. Get tagless. So you don't have to worry about the paper of the tag getting into your stuff. And then next is... Oh, I can get it. Now my glasses. And my glasses fall all the time, guys. See? Glasses fall all the time. Now, I had to get more noodles for my home because we like noodles with, ooey, with like mac and cheese and stuff. I had to get the Barilla Panay, the Barilla Rigatoni, uh, Barilla Farfo, which is pretty much your bow tie. And then Barilla Rotini. And they also go in this tall shelving thing. Nick, I need help. I need you to put these uh, noodles up, please, because I can't do with this. And then, last but not least, I got bananas. Like I said, I normally get other fruit than just bananas, but right now, bananas, oatmeal, and honey just sound really good um, for breakfast in the mornings. I don't even know if I have any syrup, but I think that's another thing I should have looked for. Uh, but yeah, so that's... Here with my other shelving so it stays a little bit cooler. Now, that's everything in my grocery haul. Um, I spent $224.39. And everyone might be like, and all of you might be like, wow, that's so much less than what I have to buy 
for my family of four, for my family of six, all that. Or some of you might be like, that's a little much. Well, when you're a family like I am, that is a family of four, has two girls, and they act like, and they eat like boys, then yeah, I gotta sit here and I gotta restock my food. Um, but, like I said, the, another reason why it's $224 and almost $225, I'm getting close to that $230 mark again. I'm trying not to spend so much on groceries, personally. I normally, like, if I don't have a um, list of stuff that I need for my home when I go grocery shopping, <coughs> excuse me, I normally do go around and I do um, shop for fresh vegetables, for fresh anything, all the way up to meats and things we can use on the side or things we can use for breakfast or things we can do use for drinks. The reason why I do that is, the reason why I do that stuff is because, or I go shopping and I get up to that that high is because I'm trying not to spend as much as we usually do. Um, because at first I was literally almost 350 bucks, or no, 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 my bad. The last time I did a grocery haul, like, or not a grocery haul, but a grocery run, when we were almost out, or literally to nothing, I spent almost $402 worth of food to replenish my home. And because of that, I had spent my mission to not spend... It's been my mission not to spend that much anymore. Um... So that's why I've been hit, that's why I'm here recently if I go by myself and I don't have a list, I literally, and I mean literally, I get close to hitting that 230 mark. But if I had my, uh, if I had a list, I would probably would have hit a 200 mark. Uh, if you want to know how, it's all just more of... Just look around your house, see what you need, see what you don't need, and then go and get what you need. Don't do like me where I knew to where I knew we needed meat and I knew we needed milk and some things in the fridge. But don't just randomly go and get what you think you need. Make sure you have what you need. Make sure you you have what you need and what you have what you have and you know what you don't need. Cause there are things like cereal I could have gotten. There's things like toaster strudels I could have gotten for the kids. And other things like that for me so I could eat healthier. I could have gotten. But I didn't because I was like, I don't need to be spending too much. That was another mindset I have. Don't spend too much. Um, but give me a few minutes and I'll get back to y'all to end this vlog. Because um, the last video I have to add in here is what I got from Target. And I'll get back to y'all in a minute. Alright guys, so I'm back with... My Target haul, which is the last haul of the day. Um, just want to give y'all an update on this Sure Sense from Dollar Tree, which you get from like a, for like a dollar twenty-five. This is the tropical papaya and vanilla uh, air freshener gel, which is really good. I like the smell of it. I've been actually admiring it for the past ever since I've used it recently but anyways like I said you can find that at Dollar Tree um I went to Target as well as grocery shopping um but I went to Target first before I went to grocery shopping um but 
the first things I got were these big thing of Cantu uh, Shea Butter Shea Butter Shampoo and Conditioner, which it is twenty five ounces. Um, it gently removes heavy buildup. And it's for natural curls, coils, and waves. Right now, my hair is wavy-ish because I have because after cutting it, it kind of doesn't curl as much. Like I said, I got it the Cantu Shea Butter Sulfate-Free Cleansing Shampoo along with the Sulfate-Free Hydrating Cream Conditioner. Um, it's again 16 ounces. And it's big enough. Honestly, this is really the shampoo. This shampoo and conditioner is the biggest I've seen in literally any shampoo and conditioner for the curly girl community. Like I said, this is the biggest I've seen. And thank you, Cantu. Now, if I can, if y'all can make it, if if Cantu sees this. I like to know if y'all have a deep conditioning mask, like a deep conditioner, because I, 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 I need it. I need it. I need one. I need one. Please. Especially link it to Target, because I, I'm, I guess I'm going to be getting a lot of my stuff from Target or Bargain Hunt here at where I'm at, because I love Target. I really do. Okay, uh, but in, on the topic of deep condition masks, I got this Malay, uh, M-I-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E. um, it's the Rosemary Mint Strengthening Hair Mask. It help, it's infused with biotin and encourages growth. Um, I want to try this out because I haven't used this brand before. But this also has this also this brand through this line has other products that I'm not going to get yet because I still got to go in this closet and go through all my shampoo and conditioners and other stuff because I'm trying to stay with just one brand and like I used to use um, Shea Moisture and Shea Moisture got a little too expensive. Like, it was the cheapest for me at the time, but when I was started, but now it's becoming, like, African Pride, but that's starting to get a dollar or two more, so I might just stick with Cantu and stay with Cantu. Um, and probably switch, like, and maybe get this Rosemary Mint, um, line by Malay, Malay, whatever, However you pronounce it. Think about getting this. That. Um. Part. Like that. Part of the brand. Because. I think mo Rosemary Mint. Will also help. Cleanse my hair. For a cleansing thing. Which is what I'm using. Which. It's not what I'm using now. But. What I'm using now. Is the Carol's Daughter. Wash Day Delight, and Carol's Daughter is starting to get a little expensive. And then the next two things that I got were the Tree Hot Tropical, the Tree Hot Tropical, or Tropic Glow Firming Sugar Scrub. I got this, and this is what the top looks like. Um, it's made with shea butter, Kapuaku butter, Pistachio and Guarana extracts. It smells really good. I haven't opened it because I've opened the shea butter. It smells so good. It smells so good. Um, the one I had one, and it was the Morocco Rose one. The and then I had the firming, and then I also have the Tree Hut. Tropic Glow Firming Whip Body Butter. Got in a body butter and that's what made me, this is what made me really like it. Really like the smell first because I smelled the body butter first. Now, I, like I said, I smelled the Morocco Rose Body Butter 
um, while I was at Target today. I don't like it as much as I thought I would. Because I like the scrub and I like using the scrub to exfoliate my skin. But, once when you exfoliate your skin, use your um, body wash, which the body wash I use is the Vino and everything. I should have gotten what I needed. Jeez, there's a lot I should have done today while I was at Target when with my grandparents. And I didn't do it because I wasn't thinking, thinking. I was more like skimming, skimming, you know, skimming through things. Um, but I got that and once when I saw the Morocco Rose body butter, I thought about it and I was like, I don't like it as much as I thought I would. I like, like I said, I like the scrub, but the body butter, not so much. Um, my next one that I want to try to get is the watermelon kind. Which is the watermelon um, body butter and then the watermelon tree height it, um, scrub. Like I said, this is these two are by tree height again, guys. Found it at Target. Um, then I have my hair mask, which is from Malay, it's the rosemary mint strengthening hair mask. Uh, which is what I'm probably going to be using before I shampoo and condition my hair tonight. Um, I'm going to try all this tonight, really. And then I'm going to go in with my shampoo and my conditioner by Can2. Um, if Can2 can get a deep conditioning mask at Target, that would be great. Because the Target I went to didn't have one by Can2. And I mean, they had it in the packaging. Like, not in the this type of packaging, but the... Had in the plastic packaging type thing. Um, but other than that, um, that's pretty much it for the day. Um, I guess my last thing I'll do is sit here and give y'all a review on the shampoo, conditioner, hair mask stuff that I got today. Um, and then just go through and then um, maybe tomorrow just go through all my... Uh, old products or the products I want to get rid of. Yes, you see me. There you see yourself back there. Yeah. <laughs> because I have it all propped up on my wall. Um because I don't get I don't have a tripod. I don't have an iPhone. I don't have any of that stuff. But anyways, I'll get back to you on the uh Target haul. And then I guess that they'll call it a night. Um, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. All right, guys. So this is a quick update. Um, yes, my hair's still wet, but I just can't help but love how my hair feels after using the Can Two shampoo and conditioner and using some using my um. Deep conditioner. And then, um, using the Tree Hut um, scrub and the body lotion. Oh my lord. I actually love it. So, anyways, yeah, um, I guess that's going to end the night. Want to say bye to the people, babe? Yeah. So, anyways, we'll see y'all later. Bye.